Hey, my Capricorns, how are you doing today? I hope all is well with you. Okay, I'm going to get some messages for you for after April 8th. Okay, what you can expect. Okay, this is a general read. Okay, for the sign Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have a Capricorn placement in any of those areas, this is for you. This does not necessarily mean that everything I say is going to resonate with you or align with you. If you need a personal reading or something that's more specific to you, get a personal reading while it's on sale. Okay. Spirit guys, give me clear, concise, and precise messages. Some of you guys could be moving. Okay. Your favorite color could be orange. You could be having orange hair. Okay. Um, something could be moving for you. It could be taking some time okay but i feel like i'm here r kelly do you want me to slow it down do you want me to speed it up do you want me to slow it down do you want me to speed it up <laughs> okay this is my personality in real life all right so you guys let me get some clear and concise messages for my khakis what can they expect with this new moon okay and this solar eclipse on april 8th I'm here. Bounce, 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 bounce. Don't be out here being fast, Cappy. Because y'all know we the undercover freaks of the Zodiac. They don't even know. Most of us wear glasses. I just saw a Target truck go past. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, didn't I say most of us some undercover freaks? Don't be out here being nasty. Protect your solar plexus manifest okay i told y'all something about the color orange okay that's your solar plexus, your sacred plexus sorry okay your sacred plexus could be on fire i just heard hot and okay calm that little cat down call calm that little ding dong down all right put that on pause okay fill in the blanks whatever party part you have <laughs> y'all play all day but you could be in this lighthearted energy or you're in this energy of manifesting, okay? Uh, being very creative, okay? You are being very sensual. You're coming off as very sexy, hot, okay? You could have some type of um, fire in your uh, chart somewhere. But yeah, you could be in this energy of self-pleasing. I don't know why that's coming out <laughs> in solitude. But you could be also manifesting in solitude, coming up with creative ideas, creative endeavors, Okay, I heard being honest with yourself. Give me more. Some of you guys could be remodeling your home. So it's like y'all are coming up. Y'all creative spark is like through the roof. Okay, because I keep seeing orange trucks. And it all has to do with moving or creating or something like that. Some of y'all could be from Toronto or moving or visiting. Okay, yes. Prosperity begins. Whatever you're manifesting or working on is going to... It's coming in soon. Y'all could have ordered a lot of things. I just saw three FedEx trucks, okay, at the time you hang one behind the other. It's like prosperity is coming one behind the other really fast with FedEx. You know, they get, you go another FedEx truck and it's like a little, it's a little gap in between and then boom, it's coming back to back again. I love this for us, okay? I was going to say for you, but for us, because I'm a Cappy, I'm a Sun Cappy, all right? Uh, another FedEx truck. What is going on? It's like y'all gonna keep getting blessings. The moment that you take a break, you're not gonna be able to breathe. You're gonna, oh, I gotta get this out. Yeah, get it out. Okay, you could be a, a, a um adventurer. Okay, so you could be doing a lot of traveling. You could be um booked and busy. Okay, but prosperity money is coming in. Everything that you planted is coming in. You have been patient. Okay, I feel like you just been sitting there waiting. All right. For some of you guys, you're about to meet somebody and you're about to be very fruitful. Calm that look down. Okay? Calm that hot down. All right? Because you're going to end up being fruitful. You Do you get what, my, what I mean when I say that? You're going to have a baby in the oven. Okay? But when it comes to financial abundance, I love that. And then look at this. One and two. One and two and three and four. And get them sitters. Right? And tuck your tummies. Right? And I don't know. Y'all feeling real good. <laughs> Y'all are in this energy of working on your body. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay? I love this. But, okay, yeah, you're reaping everything that you have sown. Okay? Everything that you have put in, you are reaping. Okay? Some of you guys, hopefully that ain't bad. But you having that new beginnings, yes, mamacita. Kudos to you. Some of y'all could be Latino. Ooh, 
I did not take no crack this morning. I promise. Four, five, six. Things are in perfect alignment for you. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Okay. What could my um, Cappies experience in love? Okay. What will my Cappies be experiencing in love when it comes to this solar eclipse, April 8th, and the new moon? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sign, Spirit. Give me some cards that align with this energy. I'm hearing, hey, Poppy. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? Frito-Lay, okay? I just seen that. Something is not going to be unrequited. Be careful of thinking everything is unrequited, okay? You guys could be, because this came out in, like, the challenge position, but also, like, kind of diagonal to... Uh, in reverse so some of you guys i'm getting this energy of something you may feel is unrequited okay it's like you're scared is not spirit 555 on the timer spirit is wanting you to keep an open mind okay it's like you may have an attraction to, to someone or something and it may the challenge is seeing if it's unrequited all right and it may not be uh, like unrequited in reverse. So that means it may not be a karmic when I say that. Okay. It may not be like you feel like people don't give you that equal give and take. Okay. FedEx again. Mm, but keep an open mind. Somebody could be wanting to come in and reconcile. What about, um, what else? What else, spirit? I don't like that. Pay attention to the red flags because you're not. <laughs> what else when it comes to love for my Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? When it comes to April 8th, the solar eclipse and the new moon cycle, what is it bringing my Cappy? Ooh. <laughs> okay, something. It's like y'all trying to figure out possibly if somebody new or somebody that you're dating, the FedEx truck again, child. Somebody could be wanting to move something fast, okay? Y'all could be ordering a lot of ish from, from stores, okay? You could be working on your skin, feeling very glowy. But something that y'all think you're having, you're struggling, because I'm, I'm struggling getting it out. You're having trouble figuring out if somebody is, like, the right fit for you, okay? With unrequited coming out, crossing, but almost going down. So it's like... You don't know if somebody is a karmic or not, but it's heading towards that they're not a karmic. But you're you're very unsure about this. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, this is gonna be something that is not karmic, it's going to lead to marriage. Okay, it's gonna lead to some type of union, some type of commitment with someone. All right, that you can come together and reap, or okay, something like that. It's like you come with your own, they come with their own, okay? This is going to stir up a lot of romantic feelings, okay? You're going to want to experience this. You and this person will have a lot of chemistry, okay? I feel like you're going to be feeling free, okay, and passionate with this person. There's an energy of you needing to free yourself from lust, lustful energy. Again, as you can see, I was very, ay, 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 mm, mucho grande, like, <laughs> I was a lot in that energy, Okay. You need to free yourself from, like, basing things off passion and superficiality, okay? And pay attention to the red flags because some of y'all, somebody is immature, okay? Or children could be involved. This could be a baby daddy, baby mama. This could be somebody that has children. You have children, okay? And it's like something may seem very good in the beginning, but you may have to disconnect from this person, Excuse me. I feel like some of y'all may like want to, because y'all in a honeymoon phase with somebody, y'all may are trying to like get to know this person a little bit more because you do see this person as somebody who you could be a soulmate with. But I feel like you're also going through the stage of healing from traumas and learning how to express your feelings here about some type of separation and trying to forgive and learn from like the last person, your ex that you had to release. So you've been trying to love yourself. And in this energy, you have to trust that you did the work. Okay. And that it's okay 
to reconcile with somebody, but just keep an open mind when it comes to like somebody being your soulmate. But yeah, somebody could be younger than you or immature. Pay attention to the red flags. Free yourself from anything that's lustful, that, that don't go past nothing else. Okay, 10, 10 on the timer. You can look up that age number. Spirit guys, give me some messages. Um, give me some tarot on these cards here, on this energy for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me some energy for my Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Collective. When it comes to this, some of you guys, I just saw the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys, you're going to new love. Okay. Clarify this energy. What is this? Why is the unrequited crossing, Spirit? Because you feel like somebody is, is keeping secrets, okay, with the moon card. Something could involve a Cancer or a Pisces, okay? Or with this card, Scorpio. This is my Scorpio card in this deck. Some of you could be, like, really feeling like somebody's hiding some type of secrets here, okay? Or you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what's to come here. Yeah. Um, I feel like you just... You're afraid of being drained. You're afraid of the emotions or something like that okay what about this moon card yeah it's like you're afraid of somebody being karmic in a connection with the lovers and for some y'all y'all really like this person or you really will like this person but you're really afraid of them being another lesson instead of a blessing okay let me put that down that was a hot some of y'all finna live y'all hot girl summer and 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 <laughs> don't mind me y'all that's me in real life real life you could feel like people be so intimidated by you but you're a goofy at heart not like not like a goofy like you can play with it okay but like you really silly and laid back like Yeah, y'all really afraid that this person is like a lesson and not a blessing, that they're a karmic. And it's like you really watching them like, I got to keep my eye on you. Like you not fucking playing, right? Because you, you, you Capricorn, okay, this is you. This is your energy, the devil. You're looking like somebody could be born on, um, that's my birthday, okay? 1229, 1228, 1230, okay? But... You could be a Sagittarius cusper for some of you guys. But I'm really feeling like y'all are really watching somebody that y'all like or have a contract with. And you really like, you kind of stand offish or you will be. You will be with somebody new because you're just like, or somebody that you're dealing with now. Take it how it resonates. Because you're unsure. It's like you feel like you've, you're, you're, you've closed out a cycle here when it came to toxicity. you like, you're done. You want a new beginning. But you're you're scared. Look at her face. It's like, look at her. She's so scared. This empress. Okay. Look at this man. You see how he looking? Y'all really watching somebody like with the side eye. Like I'm feeling you, but I don't know. That's how y'all looking. <laughs> okay. You don't know if you want to get this person equal give and take, right? Because you so used to giving to people and not receiving. And then it's like you like are unsure if somebody's gonna give to you or breadcrumb you because you feel you may feel like somebody is juggling. Okay. You may feel like somebody is very deceptive. Some of you guys are watching somebody because you feel like they're toxic or you feel like they're hiding something, okay, in this new beginning. So you're side eyeing this person and you're trying to see if they really like giving to others, okay, if they're juggling, and so you're coming off with these boundaries because you like bitch. I will cut you before you cut me. Okay? But somebody is really coming in wanting to give you something long term. Okay? And it's like you're watching. You're scared. But you're going with the flow. You're, you're, you're still moving ahead. And a lot of you guys are going to get clarity about something or you're feeling like happy. Okay? You're going with the flow. Things are like you're looking for the clarity in a situation um, because like you have done so much grieving. But you're going to get news that something is actually successful. Some of y'all are going to be moving in silence with somebody because of drama. Others of you guys, you're going to be like getting clarity that somebody is dealing with somebody. Somebody has betrayed you with a third party. Okay. 
What about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, it's like you're afraid that, again, like I said, you're afraid that somebody is going to be a lesson, not a blessing, that they're going to bring a lot of a lot of mark a lot of garbage to your plate or more baggage to your prayer you're afraid that somebody's a karmic and it's gonna be a lot to bear so it's like you're 15 16 on the timer so you're in this energy of taking back your power okay you're sitting on your throne you're protecting your energy okay and you're holding back you're holding back from this new beginning this fresh start that you're getting okay you are you're celebrating you're, you're in this energy of wanting to have a fresh start celebrating okay but somebody wants to come in towards you and it's going to be unexpected, Kathy. It's like you can feel that, you know, it's okay to take this risk, but you're so scared. You could be in your head self-sabotaging because you feel like somebody is your wish fulfillment. Somebody is your emperor or you feel like somebody can be that. But it's like y'all could have daddy issues from the past or traumas from the past. Yeah. What about wedding? Why is wedding here for my cappies? Yeah, somebody's coming in. Okay, wanting to love on you, wanting to date you. What about the Knight of Cups? Yeah, they like you. They they like you, girl. They got I got feelings for you. Hope you ain't loving a crew. How many bodies you got? Hope it ain't more than a few. Okay, they hope that you ain't messing with a whole bunch of people because they really like you. They really they really rock with you. This person gonna come in unexpectedly. Okay, there's gonna be some type of change here. I feel like you guys are giving yourself a lot of self-love, a lot of self-care, being calm and being, you know, giving yourself some grace. Okay, you could be very intuitive, okay, or listen to your intuition when it comes to matters of the heart. Okay, somebody does want to give you something long term. Okay. They want to move forward and bring some type of clarity and happiness. But I feel like some of y'all have experienced so much loss that you just don't know. you just very question, you're questionable with this. So about the Queen of Cups? Y'all looking very good. Yeah. Somebody is coming to you in silence or moving towards you in silence here. Okay, if anybody has been manipulating you or lying to you it's being exposed with the ace of swords here the truth is coming out that somebody was married or in a relationship here okay and had you in competition okay or this could have been something that happened somebody was lying and sneaking and you got some type of truth from the divine that somebody had you in competition here and now you're guarded or you learned the lesson about that it's like y'all, it's like whoever is coming in towards you, it's like there's there could be a tower moment too because you know somebody's like lying or manipulative being sneaky. Yeah. The truth is coming out here that somebody is in, in, like married or something. The divine could be telling you to block this person. Yeah, whatever... The five of wands, like y'all not dealing with no drama. Y'all not. What about the seven of swords? Let's see what that is. Yeah. Secret love. That's what we are. Okay, so somebody could be trying to keep you a secret. I feel like somebody, or you're going to be keeping this person a secret, this lover a secret, or something like that. Okay. I'm getting a lot of different messages with this. Everybody's situation is different. We're all on different timelines. All right. But yeah, somebody definitely is coming in unexpectedly towards you. And you have some type of high knowing here that somebody here is moving towards you or moving in silence. Somebody could be lying about a connection here. Yeah. Somebody is moving in silence to end something here. Somebody could be feeling, but this King of Cups here could be feeling burdened by a woman from their past here. And they're working to like become single or end something because they want to work with you. They see you as somebody they could be a power couple with. They're going to tell you some type of truth about a marriage or about a commitment here that they had a lot of drama and things like that. 
Hold on. What about what about the seven of swords with the lovers? Somebody could be a Gemini. What about the um, seven of swords and the lovers? Ten of cups. In reverse. Somebody's sad and depressed here. Somebody's trying to recover from some type of commitment or something that they were in. They had a choice between two. It's like somebody definitely wants to date you. And this is unexpectedly. But I feel like they want to date you. But they're moving. They're moving sneaking. They're sneaking and doing this. Because they, they have somebody that they're in a contract with. That they're not happy with. This could be somebody that they have a family. This is this emperor. This Aries. For some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with an Aries. They're not happy with this person. And so I feel like y'all could be ending this shit. And going in a whole different direction because you're looking for expansion. Okay. Yeah, somebody's receiving bad news here. They're giving somebody bad news with a page of wands. Or you could be giving, telling this person, hey, this don't align with my morals. You're married. I don't care what feelings I have for you. You're married. I don't. This does not align my morals. You could be ghosting this person, and they could be feeling rejected by you because you're going in another direction because they got a third party situation going on. You're trying to expand. You were looking to expand with this person, and you just felt like somebody could have sold you a fucking dream. So it's like now y'all going to a new direction. For some of you guys, this person likes you. And it's like they sneak from you going to or somebody that they're in a partnership or a contract with that they're unhappy with. And somebody's receiving bad news that it's over. Who's receiving this bad news that it's over? Somebody's ending something. Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's too many. Who's receiving bad news that it's over? Somebody like somebody's receiving bad news that somebody's a, a slut, somebody out here, you know, cheating. The sun, yeah, somebody's upset about it. They're so sad, they're depressed. Because somebody wants a fresh start. It's like somebody sees your worth, your quality. They feel like you match them. Let me get some more. What about romantic feelings? Because, baby, I ain't finna stay stuck on that. Somebody is, like, stuck. This fucking king of cups in reverse. I was just about to say, thank you, spirit. And that's why you're not playing with them. That's why you're not playing with them. That's why you're cutting them loose and you're turning your back on them. Because somebody is not... They're, they're wearing a, um, a poker face here. This person lacks emotional vulnerability okay this person is all for their self they're not a giver they're a taker <laughs> excuse me you could have you could like this person you could see long term with this person because of the chemistry you have but spirit is saying free yourself from this passion be and pay attention to the red flags because somebody's immature retreat from this honeymoon phase Okay, yeah, y'all was trying to get to know each other. You thought this could be your your uh, soulmate, but this person got some fucking traumas with expressing themselves. They they don't they need to release their ex. It's uh, some shit like they got some shit going on here. This Pisces Scorpio Cancer. This is like a karmic to you. I feel like this person coming in love bombing you unexpectedly. Okay, they like you. You they feel like you're very nurturing here, but they're sneaking. They're sneaking around with another lover who they're unhappy with, which is like kind of bad news for you because it's like it doesn't go along with your moral values. So it's like it's making you sad in a sense or will. So it's like I feel like you're decided to turn your back on this person because you feel like there are opportunities or because they have options. It's like you're cutting yourself out of it. And this person is watching you, spying on you. 
they know they juggling. They know you setting boundaries and you're protecting your peace. You're protecting everything that you have. What about this King of Cups in reverse? The spark has gone out. You're not even attracted to this person no more. I feel like y'all ghosting this person because it's like you're not satisfied with what they're giving you. you they just pissed you off. <laughs> the spark is out. Or they are, they're going to, okay? It's like you played in my face, 25-25 on the timer. What about this Ace of Wands in reverse? Yeah, it's like this because this spark is gone out. Like this person, it's like. Because this King of Cups is definitely lying and cheating and, and like manipulating. This person is not being honest with you. Or this other lover. It's like something is being blocked with this person with you to take you in another direction. Because it's nothing but emotional turmoil. Like they just stir up your emotions, right? And spirit is saying you need to move on with the six of wands here and work with people who want to work with you. Move on from the illusions here or it's just going to cause you some type of grief. 26, 27 on the timer. Stay on track. Do not get distracted because there is a long term commitment waiting for you with somebody who either you're going to reconcile with or you're going to be celebrating with. OK, it's like celebrate with people who want to celebrate you. You're focused on your stability at this time and what you're trying to manifest, which is something stable, long term, okay? And end shit with whoever this fucking player is who wants to give you a commitment, but the whole time they playing in a booty hole and dealing with another fucking karmic. I didn't mean to say karmic, dealing with another person, okay? What about this Three of Pentacles? You have a whole bunch of suitors that want to deal with you. Yeah, make it clear. Work with people. See the see your value in the matter. Yeah. Walk away from this. I know it feel good, but walk away from it. Take a rest. Focus on yourself. Heal. Continue healing. You got multiple people that you can choose from. Walk away from this fucking person. And they gonna be waiting on you. Looking fucking crazy. Because they left you out in the cold or some shit. Like, take it slow. Okay, walk away from people who don't serve you. Okay, or you're walking away from this person. Because, you know, people are slow to move to commitment. Like, and you're slow to move to cook. Like, some serious with somebody because of your past betrayals. Of this Aries or just these, these people in general. Yeah, what about chemistry? You have a strong chemistry with somebody. Okay, but the challenge is y'all could be in separation. Y'all could be both single with the nine of pentacles. The hermit is in like not in reverse, but maybe it should be in reverse. So y'all could be coming out of um hermit mode. Some of you guys with somebody who you had chemistry with. What's the hermit crossing? Somebody's having it finding it hard to make a decision here. Yeah, page of pentacles. Somebody don't have shit to offer you. There's chemistry there. It's like y'all could be talking but not talking on and off 28 30 in the summer um four swords in reverse <laughs> somebody about to get a wake-up call yeah that somebody's probably juggling okay this person is like you may get some news that somebody is juggling here what about this page of pentacles in reverse page of cups somebody don't have much to give you but they want to apologize for these illusions or like emotionally manipulate what about the king page of cups because this king of uh cups is emotional manipulator okay what about the page of cups yeah somebody gonna try to sweet talk you whisper sweet nothings in your ear because they don't want it to be over this is somebody who plays mind games watch out for that yeah, they play much mind your games on you to get you to invest and then leave you out in the cold. Step into your power and turn your back on this person. There is other fish in the sea who are watching you, who want something with you, who's waiting on the opportunity to, to be next in line. 
for some of y'all, this person could be being an asshole right now, and it's like it's making them less attracted to you. Okay? Somebody's afraid of change. They don't want to let you go. What about the death card in reverse? It could be a Scorpio. Yeah, release this devil. Capricorn, release this person. Set yourself free from this. Stand on your own. You're stable without these people. Go out, celebrate, okay? You, you're you going to have a new opportunity. Y'all finance could be picking up. You're getting a new job. You're on the right path here. This you this you feel like this loss, this person, you letting this person go is a, 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 a is a loss. It's an illusion, baby. Stand in your power. Set boundaries with these motherfuckers. What about the four swords in reverse? This is empowerment for me as well. Yeah, you need to heal. Focus on healing from the past, okay? Because that still could be affecting you in this current day, all right? What about this six of cups? Somebody going to try to give you some type of peace offering or trying to, like, apologize, trying to love on you, okay? Nine of pentacles. Baby, set yourself free from this past person. You are happily single. Somebody is literally going to try to come and talk to you. Somebody who hasn't really been talking to you probably is going to come trying to give you a gift, trying to talk to you. Baby, be happily single. Go go party with your friends and, and keep it moving. Be guarded when it comes to who you give your commitment to because, hey, these people be bringing nothing but betrayal and trying to control you. All right? They be trying to control you. You're the fucking star. Get out your head and set yourself free from that shit. End things with whoever this Aries is that keep popping up. It doesn't have to be. Or this masculine. What about the nine of pentacles? Yeah, this king of wands. Somebody out here. This person going to try to come back towards you because they ended things with a third party. They went through some type of betrayal here. Okay, and they're coming through to you slowly. Because they see you as somebody stable and they want to reconcile with you. But now you're going to have a choice. So some of y'all, a past person who is you're actually your twin. So some of y'all got a new person who playing fucking games. And an old person who is your person who wants to reconcile with you. All right. Others of y'all, it's a new person that is your person. And your past person is playing games. Put these people where they fit. One could be a fire sign. One could be a water sign. Okay? You're going to be indecisive. And this is going to stress you the fuck out. And you're really going to sit here and see who... I'm hearing may the best winner... May the best male win or best, best woman win. Y'all going to have to figure it out. This King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries or something. This person from your past. Somebody's going to want to reconcile with you. They see you being happily single out here. This king of wands, they're going to want a relationship with you. Or they're ending, sorry. They see you as somebody like they, they twin. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, this person could be going through a heartbreak. Somebody, I'm getting, it's two different things. Somebody here is going, is ending a situation. Somebody from your past here is recovering from the past. All right, they're single. Okay, this King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They went after some relationship and it ended up in heartbreak and betrayal. Okay, for some of y'all, this person, this new person, put the people where they fit. It's like you're setting yourself free here. They're going to try to come in and ask for an apology because they see you out here looking good. You're single. Okay, this person's going to want a relationship with you, but you ending this shit because they betrayed you. Take it how it resonates. All right, let's get some career. Actually, hold on. They saying pull some cards. Give me some more on this. Give me some cards that align with this. And then I'm going to get some messages for your career. Give me some cards that align with this reading here. Yeah, somebody was trying to be a player that had you stuck, okay? They, they could have had you stuck in your emotions, not knowing what to do, trying to hold back. Give me some uh, cards that align with this reading spirit for my Cappies when it comes to the eclipse, April 8th, and the new moon. Yeah, somebody is secretly stalking you. They're not over you. They're constantly watching you, okay? They feel like you're looking good, that you could be working out. 
okay they feel like you're punishing them with the with your body with the way you look i told you y'all y'all looking good okay and they feel like you're punishing them with your body for them stringing you along now they can't help but see you everywhere this person could be going through a divorce okay or they they see you everywhere now now that you're no longer chasing them okay because they had bad intention well all, all you was trying to do was give them love and abundance now this person is seeing your beauty and they're feeling intimidated they're trying to get proof or research to see if you with somebody they want to apologize to you some of y'all this is your twin flame or they're seeing you in the spotlight with a person who seems to be your twin flame take out resonates all right take what does fit and leave the rest give me more they watching you and you looking good as fuck. I told you, y'all working on y'all body. Yeah, this person is very wishy-washy. They're sending mixed signals, but something is brewing. Yeah, y'all setting boundaries. Because this person is very in and out wishy-washy, you're setting boundaries. You don't know if this person wants you or if they do. You're setting boundaries. And now because you're setting boundaries, somebody wants to make it up to you. Something is brewing. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like they you were the one who loved and supported them, okay? Like, they feel like you brought a lot of security and stability, but they were stuck in some type of situation that they felt like they couldn't get, couldn't get out of and they were refusing to change. So they learned some type of lesson here. Or they're learning some type of lesson. Yeah, but you know, y'all know what y'all doing. You could be a high priestess. You have a way of knowing the unknowable. Like, y'all know that y'all hurting somebody's feelings. Y'all know that you're making them regret everything that they did to you. And y'all know that this person is st stuck in some type of situation or whatever. Okay? And I'm getting to y'all know what to do. Some of y'all are moving on from this situation. Okay, what about this? Yeah, it's like y'all know this love bomber is coming and it's going to talk to y'all just waiting. Y'all just waiting. Y'all know this person is coming back. Y'all just waiting on this call. This person won't show up attention so bad, but they lack consistency. They're very inconsistent. This person never consistent. They come in, they, they love bomb you and then dip. Yeah, but it's like you're setting boundaries because you want something serious. You want something old school. You want to go through the dating phase, dating each other. Okay, um... You want to work towards marriage. You want true love. And you want somebody who's going to sacrifice people pleasing and sacrifice these other options to come home. And people are triggering you because with their toxic fucking behaviors and you're just trying to heal and birth something new. Okay. And But you're going to get something shocking going to happen. You're going to get your wish come true. Okay. And somebody is trapped in the bed that they fucking laid in. I don't know what to say. That's just that you have you y'all setting yourself free from waiting cause, and ghosting somebody because they ghosted you and now they want to apologize for ghosting you. Please get the fuck. Give me some messages for my cappy, Summer Rising, and Venus when it comes to the new moon on April 8th and this solar eclipse period. What is about to happen with their finances? Clear, concise, and precise messages, please. For my cappies. Some of y'all could be a Sagittarius. Well, y'all could have Sagittarius in y'all chart. Or y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 38, 38 on the time. Mm, gold. So y'all y'all want something solid. Okay, your finances are becoming more solid. Okay, after a period of being everywhere. Okay, it's like they're becoming. It's a change happening in divine timing. Okay, you're it's like you're about to walk into solid finances. I told y'all something is gonna be moving. Okay. There's gonna be some type of sudden change in divine time, and you're gonna catch a lucky break here when it comes to your finances. Yeah, something about you guys could be learning, you could be learning uh new things, or there's a need for you to go back to school here to enhance your skills. Yeah, some of you guys are the face of your business. You're, re you're receiving some type of fame or exposure. You're going to get some type of gifts here and be financially supported by the divine. You're going to be rising above any type of financial issues. This is chess, not checkers. Whatever you've been manifesting, the coins are coming. 39, 39 on the timer. Give me one more spirit. I feel like things are about to work out for you. 
It's like your business could be getting ready to take off and profit. I'm hearing shame, shame, shame. <laughs> All right. Yeah, business. Okay. You're going to be living well because you're going to be overcoming some type of obstacle here. It's moving slow, but your cup is about to overflow. There's going to be a death to the illusions. Okay. And you're going to be starting over being able to save. There's going to be an unexpected lucky break here because you're going to get some type of creative idea from spirit. I love that treasure. Mm. So there's blessings coming in. All right. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Okay, let's see. Spirit guys, is there anything else that you want my collective to work on when it comes to their shadow and their healing? What do they need to work on during this period of the eclipse and the new moon for April 8th when it comes to their shadow? What is it that they need to heal? Cause I'm just torn in between the two. Cause I really want to be with you. Okay, somebody's torn in between the two. This is a masculine here or two masculines or this is you. All right. Metamorphism. So you guys, and it's funny that this came out because I am a Capricorn son. All right. And yesterday, if you go to my community page, I don't know how, but a caterpillar got in my house. Okay. My mom lives on the first floor. I live on the second floor. And it was in this back porch. So something is going to transform. That was my transformation. That something was transforming. I'm in the beginning stages of another transformation. So metamorphism. It says you must let go of limitations in order to obtain all that you want. Opportunities start to appear once you begin to modify and alter your perspective. Change your perspective. 4142 on the, on, uh, not on the channel, on the timer. Um, it's time for you to change that channel. OK, um, it's time for you to allow yourself to grow and change. All right. Do not conform. Don't conform to other people's standards and what they want. OK, but also be patient with yourself. OK, work on your wounds. Work on your wounds here. Once you do that, everything will start to come together. All right. Uh, if this resonated, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, mwah, I love you, my fellow Cappy's twin. Where have you been? Bye.